The PhD Prize Award is one of our uh, most important uh, initiatives that we give every two years. And along with the Mentoring Prize, uh, the idea is to honor uh, this uh, mentor and PhD student duo because we believe that this duo is uh, extremely important. The PhD uh, in neuroscience usually takes uh, four years. It is a very important period in your life and it's never a piece of cake. This year uh, we were lucky because we received uh, many applications and um, many of them, several were outstanding. So selecting one uh, was actually difficult, to be honest. Um, at the end, uh, Lisa was the best <laughs> from all of them, and this is why she won the prize. Lisa is, is really a true scientist. I think she's always very, very curious and enthusiastic about science. And uh, in her PhD project, she's been uh, testing the idea that uh, certain molecular codes at the level of alternative splicing would instruct how neurons form networks and how networks function, how synaptic plasticity functions. And she's essentially linked this all the way from small changes on the mRNA level to behavioral changes in the animal, bringing together these rather distant parts of, of modern neuroscience. I've been really lucky to, to work with Lisa for the majority of my postdoc. And I mean, she's also a really great friend. We uh, often meet outside of the lab to just uh, talk by the river, by the Rhine and hang out. Like she's, uh, she's someone you can really rely on also outside of the lab. The way Lisa approaches a scientific question is a particular strength that she has because she thinks about a problem at so many different levels. If she finds something that she's really passionate about that she wants to do, she pursues that even if it's something she doesn't necessarily know. So, I mean, she has learned so many techniques during her time in, in Peter's lab. I mean, everything from doing um, behavior to doing uh, ribotrap RNA sequencing experiments, quite complicated RNA sequencing experiments to, I mean, going on to learn electrophysiology quite late in her PhD. There's a lot of things that fascinate me. I think I can be quite easily um, drawn to specific ideas and, and it feels like I never stop thinking about science in a way. I think that the best moments of my PhD is when, when you come up with, with an hypothesis and you design an experiment and you really challenge your results, but in the end they, they withstand all of your challenges and actually things fall into place and you see that an idea that you had really happens in, in the brain. I think this is an incredible feeling. But even more, I think the best parts for me were when I could just work along my amazing colleagues uh, being in an amazing department, sharing your excitement about science and discussing ideas and, and having all of the support of your colleagues and, and Peter. And a lot of these colleagues now are really, really good friends of mine. So they also you know, encourage you in times where you might be, you may be down or things don't work out that much also outside of the lab. So I think the PhD does, really does change you as a person. Um, so for me, it was a period in which I really learned a lot about myself. Like I learned, I strengthened what I'm really fascinated about doing research but I also learned um, how to think and how to always challenge your own opinions um, to, to make really good science. I feel extremely honored to have been awarded this prestigious prize, um, especially also because the FENS Kabli scholars are doing such a terrific job in you know, driving science forward and, and providing us young researchers um, with such amazing opportunities. And I think it's, for me, it's just an incredible feeling to, to know and to have this, have your PhD thesis work be recognized in, in that way. And also the work of all of the other people that were so involved and hardworking in these projects. So it's an amazing recognition and uh, it provides me with an additional source of, of confidence and I would really like to thank um, the committee for choosing me.